All right, guys, we're back with another little project to working on today. And to be honest with you, today might be a couple of today's. So I will take video as I go along and edit it all together. But today will come out in one whole video. So back to it. It is a sort of wheelchair. Um, it's a wheelchair rack that fits in a receiver of a vehicle and here's what I have here I took a picture I'm not sure it'll come out on here but let me so here's the back of the vehicle there's the receiver let me just zoom this guy in right there see so the rear wheels you, the wheelchair is collapsed like this the rear rear wheels sit there and the front wheels right in there and there's a piece of square tube that comes up over the top and it just ratchet straps down here um, this lady purchased this like 20 years ago or more she can't find that one anymore so I'm gonna replicate this and what it does so it's got this piece of cold roll that goes through here it hinges down allows this to be up at a about a 45 degree angle or so and then it hinges back up and it locks in place with that dude right there or you can fold it uh oh you guys saw that but actually that is a Virgil's root beer thought you caught me I don't drink on a job so you see and it folds up also against the uh, the vehicle so it's a pretty cool design so I'm gonna try to replicate that the best I can um, here's my materials here um, don't know if I'm gonna use this yet but probably here's my one inch cold roll let's see I, I got these bushings from tractor supply um, I got my cold roll and these fit over it I'm gonna weld those together these will be inside here. I'm gonna weld them together and cut them down to the correct width, weld them inside there. Um, I've got this piece. It's gonna be the spanner for the wheelchair and then my, uh, my 3 8 oh, forgot that. My 3 8 cold roll will be the loops for the, for the rear wheels. And um, I think that's it, really. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut all this up, get it prepped. Oh, one more thing. Let me let me uh, find out where it is. I think this is it. Okay, here we go. Sorry if you guys are getting a little motion sickness. But here's what I got. I got some parts and pieces and whatnots. So my three eighths also I'm using as remember those little pins. Uh, yep. Oh, that's my wife and I behind there. Her face is behind this. Try oh. Anyways. Am I gonna go photos again? Okay, so remember, remember we had these little dudes right there. So I don't have whatever they have, so I'm using my 3 8 cold roll for this. Right, my pin. I went to Ace Hardware, got these these little pipe nipples, pipe caps. I'll drill these out and. Got my springs, fit right down in there. And I got some washers that, of course, will kind of be guides, right, for this, for that pin. I've got some roll pins to drill this out and put that, put that washer in there. Um, and then these, they might not fit down inside there, but that's fine. I will get those machined down to the correct size so they will fit down inside there and they'll just ride in there um, as you you know use that 
to compress that spring, right? So, um, okay, I think we're caught up now. So let me get everything prepared and then when it's time to go, we'll get going. All right, I'll see you guys back. All right, guys, so I'm back. Uh, you remember those washers that I said we were gonna use on that 3 8 cold roll that's gonna go in here as the pin? Uh, that 3 8 cold roll is gonna go through here, act as a pin, that spring's gonna be in there. And then those washers were gonna be on the um, that cold roll, the 3 8 to act as a uh, door to help compress that spring, right? So when you pull that back, that washer will compress on that spring as it draws back, right? So the washers won't quite fit in here. So what I've devised is this. It almost fits there. I kind of started on it. I'm not going to lie. So I used my little Dremel tool and these little guys, right? So I cut one of these sanding drums split it and I wrapped the rubber piece with some uh, blue painters tape to take up some of the room and then I put that over there and put it over or put the washers over it and then tighten it down to help compress it and, like spread that sanding wheel out to hold that on so this front one comes off a little bit um, what a It'll work. So uh, what I was doing is this. So, right. So I was doing it on the table and whatever. It didn't, uh, I mean it worked, but the, um, that outer washer, see how it's coming off? So, and just kind of stop, look at it. Okay, All right, guys, this is take three because I realized that I tend to repeat things sometimes and I'm trying to get past that. But back to the explanation of where I'm at so far. So the last time I videoed, I was doing my little redneck sanding machining of those washers to get them inside the pipe nipples so we'll kind of take this dude apart real quick there's the pipe nipple one of them I cut the threads off the other end because this will be welded to a plate that'll have a 3 8 hole in it that will accept the 3 8 cold roll and remember this is a lock pin um, a spring-loaded lock pin never built one of these but this is the the uh, design that I just kind of thought of so what I did was I took I'm not a big fan of this song I think you guys have already heard ukulele girl that's some buddy holly here so anyways back to the explanation so there's the cap it's got a 3 8 hole I drilled in the top here except the 3 8 Roll. So I took my plunger, if you will, and drilled one hole for a, a um, roll pin, put a washer on, and then cross drilled a roll pin in. So this keeps that uh, kind of like a plunger guide, I guess, down inside the pipe nipple. So it looks pretty cool, I guess. And then what I do is I put another washer on that. Then I put the spring down there, okay? And this would be dropped inside there if it was actually on, right? Welded on the piece. But then this threads down. Um, See, and it works. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yep. So you'd pull the pin, adjust it where you need to be, lock it back in the other hole. Pull the pin, adjust it where it needs to be. 
So I made two of those little guys right here. One there and one there. And I'll have this all rounded down. Um, not quite to a cone shape, but it'll be beveled there. But same thing. This will be bent 90 degrees. So you really can't once this is all threaded or welded on, you can unthread it, pull this whole piece out. The only way to get this out is pop those roll pins and get those, uh, get the washers off if you ever needed to replace this guy. But I doubt it. Well, I can't say I doubt it. I hope not, but that's that. Now the main body of this assembly is right here, guys. Look at that, that thing is cool. So, what I did, is drilled my holes in here, and had a step bit where I got it out to a one inch hole, but it had to be an inch and a quarter. So what I did was used my uh, burr bit to make them bigger to accept these bushings. And um, what I'll do is I'll fully weld those up, get those where they need to be, and um, probably throw some beads on the inside here. Do you see my daughter? Say hi, Fifi. <laughs> her name is Finley, but uh, her cousin calls her Fifi because he can't say Finley, so he just calls her Fifi, so now we call her Fifi. Anyways, back to the story. I used the coal roll as I was setting them in there to make sure they're lined up. And then to help with it, I had my little ball peen hammer here and I kind of give a little tap as I twist it, you know, and that ensures that it just helps, helps those bushings line up, just little taps here and there. and. You know, tap on the side, tap where we need to with the ball peen hammer. It helps get those bushings lined up. This thing's only going to turn 90, spin 90 degrees anyways, so it's not like it's a shaft. It's going to be possibly spinning the 360 degrees. It's 90 degrees a couple times a day, maybe. Maybe. That's if they leave the house. So I'll weld those up. Let me get everything else prepped and then I'll get back to you. Hopefully you can hear. Hopefully I explained it correctly. Hopefully it didn't cover up the microphone like I did last time. So, but, in, but let me get this all prepared and then I'll get back with you again. All right, guys, I'm going to catch up to speed real quick. I'm not sure if I explained earlier, but this is going to be a uh, receiver mount wheelchair rack foldable one so uh, there's going to be a hole here which it will they'll have a bolt that goes through and it will uh, bolt it to the drop hitch instead of you know it'll pin it there in essence so um so that's where we're at so far it's half done i've got another piece out here that articulates so like that well let's take this dude apart well let's see how it functions real quick so you're going to pull this pin and then this folds up I'll take that guy off and then it'll be up in the air right so if they're not using it so pull that so that's that okay i'll take it apart for you because i don't really have it together very good some water in there. Okay, and then and let's just take this guy out too. Let's just take it all apart. Okay. So, okay, so what I did was this is my one inch cold roll. Took my measurements. Um, actually, let's start with this guy. So, I had these bushings from Tractor Supply. They're top link bushing from inch and a quarter down to a one inch reduction bushing. What I did was, I think you guys saw, right? I welded them in there. And then I made a boo boo on this at first, but I fixed it. 
um, had to weld a plate on here on both sides, but I only did right here. If you guys see, well, there it is. I added this section on all the way down here. So, because this should have been flush with the edge, you know, for the pin and everything, but uh, uh, so I fixed it, you know, once I get my sandable primer, fill in all the little voids and everything, you'll never know a difference, but. Uh, so that's that. That's how that guy's constructed. The bushings all the way through, right? So, got to make sure my shim here. So I got another, they call it a bushing shim, whatever. Goes in there, all right? So, um, I used the bushing right here, one of these guys right here. Slid it over, welded it on, made sure it took into consideration the that bushing here for my spacing. All right, and then this guy's square tube, it was, the other one was actually welded all the way up here. It was not even welded all the way down, but I didn't put it all the way down because I like to keep a little opening for moisture and garbage to, you know, be able to come out. So. Anyways, gets a bushing there, gets a bushing there, right that, that goes there, and there'll be a nut on the bottom, and then there's a post that the uh, customer still has, slides down, then there's got a hook up top, and it ratchet straps down to here, and that's going to clamp the wheelchair down, that holds it to this guy, right, and then there's this guy, remember these I made, yeah, so, tighten these down with a pipe wrench eventually but that's that that's how they're uh, yeah without uh, having a machine shop or anything I mean I don't think it could get any better than that I mean I wish it was machine shop tolerances but you know whatever it's not it's garage shop tolerances <laughs> but it's tight I mean it's a lot tighter and stronger than the the old one is uh, a little something guys so I used a galvanized pipe nipple with galvanized cap you know probably could have got just a regular old black pipe one and used it but I didn't uh, if you do use galvanized you can weld on it of course but be very very careful make sure you have a lot of ventilation do not breathe that smoke. It will tear your lungs up and you probably won't recover. So just have a lot of ventilation. Um, or if you can, try and take as much as that, uh, that zinc off, the galvanizing off if you can. Um, just to protect yourself. But other than that, you can weld on it. Just be very, very careful. But... Yep, so that's that so far. Um, I'm going to work on what's going out here next. So, um, yes, yeah, so we're up, we're caught up, and as soon as I get the other stuff done, I will turn the camera back on and show you what we got. Okay, bye.